Hello, Chef here, and I've got these awesome tomatoes. These are heirlooms. You've seen these before, I'm sure. This is a leaf really, really close once you chop it all up. So that's, do you know what this is? Very cool. Very, very small too. This is actually homegrown garlic. Uh, it dried up too early, so it got picked early, but these are probably the smallest garlic cloves you've ever seen and I'm gonna cook with them today. So I've given it a little wash, and uh, there we go. One, two, three, seven little garlic cloves from that bulb. Very, very small. Not even a teaspoon of garlic, I would say, in the whole bulb. Gourmet baby garlic, organic, of course. So I'm just gonna, uh, cut these couple of these tomatoes I wanted to show you what's inside uh, the ripest one let's see looks like it's this one check this baby out really really nice let's get in a little close here for you so I'm gonna cut it first this way to see what the inside looks like. Wow. Look at that tomato. That's super nice. Super, super thick and hearty, juicy. Very few seeds. That's going to be good. Uh, obviously, I'm going to remove this top part here. Okay, and then after... I got that top piece out there. I'm looking for about a medium dice. So uh, I'm just gonna give it a couple cuts like this. This is a handmade Santuco knife. Uh, pretty cool, can't buy it. Guy, uh, Japan makes these babies, you gotta go there. touch of uh, sea salt to that garlic. Pink sea salt from Hawaii, love it. And I'm gonna cream it like this really quick. This knife, by the way, gets oiled. I just clean it off and I re-oil it. Sweet, love it. Okay, these tomatoes go in the bowl. Along with the juice, garlic goes in the bowl, okay, and then a quick chop of just a little bit of this basil, okay. All right, that should do it. Basil goes in. Touch of pepper, a little sea salt, splash of truffle oil, extra virgin olive oil, touch of balsamic vinegar. Oh, that's gonna be good. So, we're gonna give it a real quick tossing. Okay, I got this whole wheat bellini here, and I'm going to cut this into some small points and make a quick bruschetta appetizer. Okay, and uh, just real quick here, a little bit of Parmigiano Reggiano. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Get cooking and have a great day.